Oh, Velma Season 2 is back. Yeah, we're getting a Velma, obviously, for Season 2. We've got a poster. Uh, and I reminded myself and le legitimately burst out laughing out loud uh, how bad Velma Season 1 was received. I, how this got a second season is genuinely beyond me. David Zaslav, you are retarded. Like, what are you doing? So, look, they released this. Velma Season 2. Twice the meddling. Yeah, probably twice the hate watching from everyone as well. Um, this is just one place that shared it 20 odd hours ago. Insane, insane the comments. But just, just. 7%! 39% on the critics! I legitimately had forgotten just how poorly reviewed it was. Look at that! Wow. So bad. Probably just blown your ears out there, sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look. Let's take a look at the comments. Guess the hate watching backfired. But, yeah, well, yes and no. It still never should have got rev renewed. Like, what on earth? So bizarre. Uh, good shows are getting cancelled while trash keeps getting renewed. This is very true. Uh, very, very true. How it's got a second season I can never understand. <sighs> Yay, I can't wait to not watch this. So excited. A lesbian queen returns. Uh, shut up. Gross. No. Uh, Velma Dinkley, as depicted literally everywhere else, is Velma. Mindy Kaling is Mindy Kaling. Yep. <laughs> I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. Oh. The comments are comedy gold. Absolute comedy gold. This poster will be better than the show. <laughs> uh, my God. These are genuinely funny. And people are just comparing it to Knuckles. Isn't that funny? Because, amazingly, like, Knuckles it actually looks good. Of all things, we live in a world where Knuckles being adapted for TV is good. And... A Scooby-Doo adaptation is bad and woke. That, that's the world we live in, ladies and gents. Mm. How bad was this again? Look at the reviews. Look at it. Oh, it's so bad. The show is tragic in so many ways. Lol. These comments are absolutely brilliant. Releasing it the day after would be fitting if you know, you know. Going to be interesting to see how much the viewership drops this season without the hate watching. That's true, actually. So, a good comparison with this and another show which was, you know, people hate watched uh, was Halo. So, Halo season one, people hate watched because it was just absolutely terrible. And then this, this is something which people hate watched. But the viewership between Halo Season 1 and Halo Season 2 has absolutely tanked. It's cratered off the face of the planet. So it will be interesting to see. Like, genuinely interesting. Uh, even though this will probably be complete garbage, the poster doesn't look that bad. It's going to be crap. Don't get don't get suckered in. This is a good example of awful marketing. The whole show's awful. Technically good marketing because it's shown that it's terrible. Uh, I'm legit excited. I remember season one was amazing. I absolutely love this show so much. I can't wait to watch season two. It's Velma bin time. Yeah, it has to be a troll. Has to be a troll. Okay, if you're going to renew literal garbage, then at least recycle it into something good. <laughs> well, this is true. How this gets to season two. Thought it was cancelled. I reckon that they must have greenlit. They must have greenlit this straight away because this is this has been really quick. Um, an animation takes a little while, so I reckon it's that. My God, it's so bad. E I got again. It's important to know. Even the critics hated it. Even the critics hated this as well. It's frustrating to watch the show nervously wink at its audience, assuring them that what they're watching is smarter than the IP mining trend that birthed it. It would be a better series if it could just calm down. Ugh. Okay, the Velma show itself is trash. I'm pretty sure that is universally known. That aside, can we talk about how nice the posters for Velma Season 1 had an amazing poster with details and compositions, and this one is really nice with the colours and theming. No, don't get suckered in. 
Don't get suckered in. I hate how this show was so successful because a lot of us hate watched it. Not me though. I pirated it to see if it was actually worth it. That's true. If you're going to watch it, just pirate it, guys. Not that I condone that. Not that I, uh, you know. I guess, you know. Do what you like. Um, I just... Now that the initial shock and outrage is over, I feel it's worth asking. Is anyone actually looking forward to this? I figured most people stop caring. I, I reckon this is going to just fall off a cliff. Like, genuinely fall off a cliff. I was trying to find out whether uh, HBO Max had actually shared it, but they haven't. Like, they haven't shared it themselves. There's other websites, other ones which have, like this. Like, you know, for instance. Bloody Disgusting has. But no one... No actual, like, official HBO place has shared it, by the looks of it. Look, this has to be a troll. We back, baby. Not going to lie, the post to go hard. Please learn to speak. Like, please, seriously, please speak. Please, please learn to speak. When an even spooky mystery grips Crystal Cove, Velma must find a way to balance her detective work with the demands of her newfound popularity. Oh, that's right. Misty K Mindy Kaling's self-insert character has become so popular. God. Before it's too late. Meanwhile, uh, her faithful friends Daphne, Norville and Fred are powerless to help thanks to their own personal battles. And worse, detention. My God, this sounds bad. Why is she black? Because <laughs> uh, it's Mindy Kaling. That's why. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I'm going to slap myself because this feels like a bad dream. Also, told Zaslav to go get fired. Yeah, Ain't nobody watching this. This is true. After years of watching Scooby-Doo, we as the audience are meant to believe that characters are scared of detention. How the mighty have fallen. I <laughs> uh, love it. This is brilliant. Again, just people comparing it to Knuckles. We Again, we live in a world where a Sonic the Hedgehog spin-off of Knuckles looks substantially better than a Scooby-Doo spin-off. That is some epic clown world, isn't it? Now, I'm not hating that. I think Knuckles I think Knuckles looks great. But that's the world we live in. That's the world we're living in right now. Thoughts down below? Are you going to hate watch it or not? Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.